Howdy campers and welcome back to your least boring summer ever right here at Camp Crunch Labs. I'm Mark Grober and this is week two of our supercharged summer camp experience. Camp Crunch Labs has two parts. The first part is we release these videos every week on Saturday and those come with the mega experiments that I do that look a little something like this. Two, one. <laughs> <laughs> and then the super challenges that you do that look a little something like this. And with those super challenges every week, I pick my four favorites. And the coolest one I see from all of the whole summer earns this platinum ticket right here to come out here to Crunch Labs for episode 12, which is the biggest mega banger of all the mega experiments. This is week two, so that means this episode is in honor. Ooh the cooler of unlimited treasures, of the coin spinner, where the physics principle we learn all about is ratchets. And this coin spinner is cool, because after you build it, it gives you the superpower to spin a coin longer than any human. You can compete in a Beyblade style match with a friend, plus we made a mega version that I let Mr. B spin when he came out to visit me here at Crunch Lab. And so if you watch these weekly videos and do the build boxes that come every week, I'll give you a Mark Rober guarantee, and I don't just hand those out like high fives that this will be your least boring summer ever. So if you want to grow your brain in some delightful ways, yes. work with your parents and check out campcrunchlabs.com where you can learn more. So the videos are the first part, but the second part is that you can get a Crunch Labs build box delivered to your door every week. That's the toy we build together and really get into the juicy physics of what makes them actually work and what makes them so dang fun. With that, we're gonna get right into today's mega experiment, but first, let's find out who our special guest is today. Hey, hey. Stephanie! Hey, Mark. If you guys don't know, this is my good friend, it's Stephanie. In fact, she was one of my co-stars on Revenge Engineers. She's a super cool computer programmer. I'm not much of a, like, I can kind of code, especially with chat GPT. Now I can kind of code even better. <laughs> but Estefany, <laughs> she's like a whiz when it comes to all this stuff. What was your favorite prank on the show we did? Ooh, that's a rough one. I think the bicycle prank. Ah, uh, yeah, that the bicycle. Each of the Revenge Engineers had to design a bike that was unstealable. What did yours do? Mine would drive itself. Backwards? Wasn't that the one where that lady was like standing there forever? For, for, like, Is she gonna hours. steal it? Is she gonna yeah. not? And then yeah. eventually she did try she and steal did. it. She did. We knew. Both of you and I knew. We knew. We knew. Well, Stephanie, welcome to camp. Thank you. Let's get to our mega experiment. All right. I cooked something up for you today. All right. So we got some things lined up. But before we go through these, Stephanie, we got some campers over here. Come awesome. on in. Camden, he's the tallest of the bunch. Taller than me. We got my boy Max. And we got Nora, rocking the overalls. Nora, do you recognize any of these things? Only that one, Nerf gun. A Nerf gun? Do you know how to fire it? Yep. You do, you sound very confident. I want you to hit my cameraman. Oh, Nora, what a shot! Good one. Okay, now do any of you know how this works? Like, how did that fire? Is it magic? I think it might be magic. Not magic, it's science. Nora, do you have a guess? Hmm, maybe there's a wire connected and it pushes the ball out. Oh, ooh, a wire connected and it pushes the ball out. You got half of it right. There is definitely something to push the ball out, but what it's called is air pressure. Basically, when we pull this back, it loads a spring, and then when I put one in, I can do this and almost hit the camera. Basically, a plunger pushes forward, it pushes a bunch of air, and there's a ball in the way. And the air's like, we gotta whoosh out of here. And if there's something in our way, guess what? It's whooshing with us. Your favorite Nerf blasters, they're just using air pressure. So that's one version of it. Here's another, this is actually one of our build box toys where we have these rockets. This is called a rocket revolver. Do you wanna try that, Max? You don't want to try it, okay. Wow, there's always like they don't trust me, Stephanie. Because you're always shooting stuff. <laughs> All right, fair point. Camden, do you want to try it? Sure. See, Camden's got some trust. Give that a whirl. Oh, yeah. Oh, Stephanie, I gotta... honestly. <laughs> can't what? take me anyway. We I got it. not take you anywhere. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, this is a rocket revolver, though, so it doesn't just shoot one. You can blast off six in a row, okay? Yes. Three, four, five, yeah. six, yes, well done. And this Rocky Revolver is actually one of the build boxes that you can make as part 
of Camp Crunch Labs. That is also air pressure, right? The air molecules were in this little bulb here, you hammered it, and then those air molecules are like, we gotta get out of here. There's no more room in here. So they come down this tube, they come out this little cylinder, and what's in the way? One of these rockets. So it's like, all right, I guess we're going along for the ride. And then you launch it way out to the camera, much better than what I just threw there. All right, well, that's two examples of air pressure. And Stephanie, yeah. I feel like you are uh, conveniently leaning on a third that you tipped over earlier. <laughs> did I? What did we use air pressure for on the show? Dog poo for um, grapes. Yeah, pneumatics, which is another word for air, is just such a great way to move things. Like so many of the videos that I make on my channel are actually powered by air. And this, in fact, is a t-shirt cannon. You guys ever gone to like a sporting event and then there's like a t-shirt they shoot at the crowd? So we're gonna show you guys how this works. I don't have a t-shirt with me besides the one I'm wearing, but we do have tennis balls. And conveniently, tennis balls fit perfectly into this chamber. So Nora, I have a question. If there's air here that wants to get out because it's at high pressure and it wants to come out this way and there's a tennis ball in the way, what do you think is gonna happen? Maybe it will fly out. Maybe it will fly out. All right, well for this one, we probably should get some eye protection because safety is very important. As a reminder, we are professionals here. At least I'm a professional. I can't speak for a Stephanie. In fact, I can speak for a Stephanie. She's not a professional. We always want to be really safe. Over in my tent here, we've got eye protection. Nora, what color do you want? Blue. Great choice. Max, blue, Stephanie. Thank we're, you. We're clear gang. Actually, we have a target there, Stephanie. Why don't you put it on the side of our house over there? Do I need more protection? <laughs> I'll set the blaster down while you Please. do that. How's that? Thank you. <laughs> Again, safety first, folks. Is that mark good enough, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. All right, so our t-shirt cannon is now loaded. For safety, why don't you guys stand back there by the fence? Okay, here we go, Stephanie. In three, two, one. Thank you, Mason. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nora, what have I done? Max, I don't know how to say this, buddy, but I think it's broken. Nice All right. aim, Mark. That's two panes of glass down. That was a bit of a mistake. Nora, have you ever made a mistake like that? No. I believe it. You look pretty trustworthy. That just shows you how powerful air pressure can be, right? Some kind of damaging, naughty stuff too, huh, Nora? All right, so that's air pressure. That's our experiment for week two. No, I'm sorry. You promised mega experiment. This that, is not enough. That wasn't mega enough for you, Stephanie? Not mega enough. All right, well, if you're gonna put it that way, I want you guys to come stand over here so you guys don't move, okay? First up, we got a tub of ping pong balls. We got another tub of ping pong balls. Next up, we got a big trash can. Don't worry about helping me, Stephanie. Yeah. I got it. Did you need help? Or Finally, <laughs> we got a big old container of liquid nitrogen. This stuff is really cold. Can I just point out super cool googly eyes on our trash can here? The idea is to combine these in a really fun way where we're gonna put some liquid nitrogen in this trash can with the ping pong balls on top. Air pressure will build up. All the air's like, holy crud, it's really crowded. We need to get out of here. It's gonna rush up, but guess what's gonna be in the way, Nora? Ping pong balls. Tons of ping pong balls. So guess where the ping pong balls are gonna go, Max? Up and everywhere. Is that good enough for you, Stephanie? We'll see. We'll see, okay, jury's out. And because safety, is our number one priority here at Camp Crunch Labs. I'm gonna send you guys off over there behind a safety wall. I'm gonna switch out hats. Can you do these backwards? I like it, I like it. <laughs> I feel like that's not safe. <laughs> safety glasses, <laughs> air protection. What? Huh? Huh? What? Uh <laughs> <laughs> this is probably overkill on my part, but I just like the logo. All right, here we go, Stephanie, go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, so we prepped the trash can. So it's high pressure in there. Ping pong balls are on top. Now we're just waiting for her to blow. How long does it take? <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think of that? Oh! Yeah. Wow, they kind of popped. I think they froze Mark. 
They froze, they got so cold and they cracked. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's kind of satisfying. I'm winning. <laughs> no, I'm winning. <laughs> All right, you guys come over here. We're gonna watch the slow-mo. It's beautiful. Ooh, they're hitting the light. Look at it, feeling the frame. I think it is mega enough. That feels mega. Yeah. All right, campers, it's way past your bedtime. Get the heck out of here, back to your cabins. Thanks for joining us today. Not you, a 70, you're not a camper. <laughs> A 70, of course, you're not spending the night at Camp Crunch Labs because I just snap you away. What do you mean snap me? Okay, well that was invigorating. Well that was the mega challenge for today. And that was pretty dang mega. Which means it's now time for my favorite part of the show where we get to see your submissions from last week's super challenge. For this one, it was who could make the coolest pillow fort so let's take a look. Welcome to our pillow. Get to our lounge. Zombies are attacking. And security. And by the way, I just gotta say, you guys crushed this first super challenge straight out of the park. Not only were there just a ton of really clever ideas, there were nearly four hours worth of total submissions and I saw every single one of them and it just made me so happy to see. Okay, so out of all those, I'd say these were my favorite four. And so if one of those was yours, be checking your mailbox for this little gem, the official 2023 Camp Crunch Labs patch. It's signed, but more importantly, you are now eligible to win this bad boy, the official Camp Crunch Labs platinum ticket. You'll be coming out here for the last episode for the super mega experiment. Believe it or not, even more mega than this. But for this week's super challenge, I've got one that goes back to what I used to do as a kid. We had an old camcorder and we would make these like little dinky Lego creations and then we would throw them and have them crash in slow motion. It was sort of my first foray into like making a video and kind of creating a story. So just like on set today, we had a cool something that happened in slow motion. I just wanna see something cool in slow-mo. So it could be a Lego creation that you know you drop. You could have action figures that maybe come in and do something interesting in slow-mo. Maybe it involves a piece of cake. 
I'm not sure, whatever it is, blow me away with your creativity, but I just wanna see something interesting in slow motion. So this is your chance to flex your skills as a burgeoning filmmaker, and most phones these days have a, have a slow-mo setting, so just this is all just phone footage is what I'm looking for. Obviously, safety is the number one key here. Anything you do, you gotta get your parents' permission. Most importantly, to make sure I see it, and I will see every single one of these, work with your parents to post it and then tag us at Crunch Labs and use the hashtag Camp Crunch Labs contest when you do so. And so these videos and these challenges are super great, but to really make this your least boring summer ever, work with your parents to visit campcrunchlabs.com so you can learn more about getting these weekly build boxes, because coupled with these and the weekly challenges and videos, by the time you go back to school, you're basically gonna be ready to work at NASA. All right, campers, so that's it for this week. Get to work on your super challenge and putting your build box together, and I'll catch you next week right here at Camp Crunch Labs.